Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about Wuthering Waves Battle Pass. Um, specifically, what do you get inside of this Battle Pass? How does it work? And which weapon should you choose from the weapon selector, which you will get from the Premium Battle Pass? And without any more delays, let's get right into it. The Battle Pass of Wuthering Waves consists of 70 levels. You can go up to level 70. The significant rewards you will get are up to level 60 past that it's going to be just credits this system does exist already in honkai star rail battle pass but genshin does not have this type of battle pass also there are some significant differences between the battle pass from Woodring waves and genshin slash honkai star rail because i've seen a lot of people saying around yeah it's just like genshin or star rail battle pass but there is one big difference that not many people necessarily told you about so let's get right into it uh, and let's go over the actual things you will get from the $10 version of the battle pass basically you will get 680 asteroid this is gems uh, we'll also get the weapon selector at level 30 then you're gonna get some premium tuner for tuning rank 5 star egos then you also have premium material chest this chest will contain materials for weapons and skill upgrade and then you're also gonna get uh, incomplete overworld class echo and incomplete elite class echo from my understanding uh, this is a random echo that you'll get you're not able to select uh, yes there is also another thing uh, that you do get in the battle pass and i decided to mention it last uh, which is the character event pool ticket uh, yes you heard me right uh, in this game the barrier currency is separated for character event pools and weapon pools uh, so this is the biggest difference from the genshin or star rail battle pass where you're going to get only radiant tide tickets from the battle bus at least the premium one that is and this can only be used on character event banners this is a very concerning precedent that i will talk about it more in detail in another video since this video is more about the battle pass and the weapons itself um, look out for that one as well as for the 20 dollar premium premium version you're gonna get a sigil i'm not certain what this works for as of right now but more importantly you're also going to get three standard pools so if you do buy the 20 dollar version in star rail equivalent it was about 200 gems in this game they just give you straight up three standard pools it is whatever and the last one it's going to be an item that will allow you to synthesize levels of golden eternal weapons i'm not sure about this item yet myself but this could be something interesting but nevertheless generally in all of these gacha games if you do want to go for battle pass the 10 dollar version is just fine the $20 version does not seem to be that valuable. 3 standard pulls in the long term, I don't think it's going to be that useful. A standard stuff will age out uh, relatively faster than event uh, limited characters, that is, of course. So now, let's also go over the weapons. Um, the selector at level 30 will allow you to choose one of the 5 uh, 4-star weapons. Um, of course, you only get one copy out of this. Uh, here on the screen, I will show you each weapon with its stats and also passive effects as i go over it i'll begin with autumn trace this is basically a broad blade it is a crit substat weapon so it will be easier to build your character especially early on when you will still lack good substats on your gear so it's going to make your character have at least some amount of crit at least much easier to build that is as for the passive it is a pretty nice attack boost that will activate whenever you do basic attack damage or heavy attack damage so characters like Gian can easily take advantage of weapon like this it's gonna work pretty nice for them the second weapon it's lumin gloss this is a sword that has an attack substat as you noticed not all of the weapons have crit substats because the original lineup of battle pass weapons in genshin all had crit substats in this game that is not the case the sword will basically provide you a basic attack damage and heavy attack damage boost whenever you use your resonance skill this would be equivalent of an elemental skill in genshin impact this is okay-ish but the problem is the 
substats might not be as desirable and there are other better alternatives that you can get even the five star sword which you will get from a five star selector at union level 45 there is a better alternative to this sword it's basically a five star standard weapon that you'll get for free from a weapon selector whenever your account will be level 45 so it's gonna be much better regarding that we'll also have a video talking about the five star weapon selector which ones are good to go and which are not so much as good but also for those who do not know the standard weapon banner in woodening waves has the ability for you to select which five star weapon you'll get out of it whenever you reach its pity as for the next option it's thunderbolt it's pistols another attack substat weapon whenever you're hitting a target with basic attacks or heavy attack it will increase resonance skill damage bonus that stacks up to three times this doesn't seem to be that enticing as well perhaps if they release some characters in the future that spam more of the resonance skill you could see some usage but once again there is a better alternative five star standard weapon that you can basically get for free from the selector at level 45 as for gauntlets stonard this seems to be a bit better it is a crit substat weapon once again and also whenever you use resonance skill it will boost your liberation damage bonus by 18 percent basically the crit substats it's already decent but the passive definitely has potential if they ever release a character that will convert their normal basic attacks heavy attacks or anything like that to make them count as resonance liberation damage because then they would be amplified by this effect you could have a character basically they use their ultimate they're like in an ult special state and for those let's say 10 seconds or whatever all hits they do count as resonance liberation damage and then this type of weapon would be much more enticing and the last option the rectifier augment this one is once again crit rate substat weapon already more desirable than attack percentage i would say as for the passive whenever you use resonance liberation you will increase the wearer attack by 15 percent for 15 seconds this weapon definitely has potential and could be used in certain characters to some extent even like yin lin use her ultimate you get the attack boost even if she goes off field and do coordinated attacks she should still be able to maintain this attack boost so it's a it's a decent weapon so overall between the battle pass weapon i would say that the broad blade stone art to some extent and augment seem to be the most desirable the pistols and sword i would say seem to be the weakest simply because they're better five star alternatives for free that you can get basically as for the stone art the gauntlets the crit is nice but the passive really depends whether will there be any character that can take more advantage out of it but of course there is also another strategy you can do if you did buy the premium battle pass you do not have to use the selector weapon right away you could wait it until near the end of the battle pass and then choose which one would be better as we get more calx tc and all that stuff out there to be certain what's going to be a good pick so waiting would be also a good strategy for this one so yeah i guess that's going to be all for this video as always if you have any questions about the game or anything like that feel free to ask me on my stream i stream every single day on twitch slash youtube i also do cover honkai star rail besides woodering waves so feel free to check me out if you're interested in this type of content and of course the youtube thingy if you enjoyed this type of video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this i wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video